If you haven't worked it out yet, we love coffee and we love a good coffee recipe. It allows you at home to grab any coffee and dial it in to get the best out of that coffee, the origin, or the type of extraction that you really like to enjoy, whether it's espresso for black or that espresso base that you put your milk with. Now, it allows you to control all of those parameters rather than just putting coffee in, giving it a tamp, and giving it a go. You can certainly waste a lot of coffee if you don't get it right. If you have a look at some of our other videos, you would have seen videos where we've covered this single basket, which is a standard, uh, I guess, Italian single gram basket. So there's a whole video specifically on this one. If that's the kind of basket that you use at home, I recommend you go and have a look at that video for deeper information on that one. Across all of our commercial uh, coffee machines, we do talk about the, this 21 gram straight wall basket. We talk about VSTs and how you can really enjoy great quality coffee here. There's so much content on our channel covering this one already. Um, but what I wanted to focus on is this one here. It's what I'll, we're gonna call the Italian standard double basket. It's got double spouts, but the basket has this taper on the bottom, which is a bit tricky. And we, we do talk about if you can get away from this basket and upgrade to a straight wall basket and perhaps have a naked porter filter, you're gonna get a better extraction. But we know this is a great handle and a great basket that most people use. So I'm gonna dial in on this one particularly. And with our training manual here, I'm gonna tell you all the secret recipes that are great for our blends. So um, this is gonna be available as a, as a printable version with anyone that buys a coffee machine from us, because um, we do wanna make sure that you can make great coffee at home. It'll take you through the whole process of extractions and dosing, tamping, um, how to actually froth milk, how to pour milk, and um, how to do some maintenance on your machine as well to make sure that you're just enjoying coffee and you've got a way to progress. And couple that with some of our other YouTube videos which the book refers to, it's really gonna help you make a much better coffee. When we uh, bring out our little manual here, we'll show you the first couple of things. There's always a bit about our YouTube channel and we do recommend to use our coffee. Now, the reason these recipes work so well with our coffee is it's because how we roast with the IMF roaster. We do have a delicate way to apply heat to that bean at first crack and through the development process, which is where we get the dark or light roast options when we apply more uh, time and heat to those. We find it's an amazing way to brew coffee. And we do get that feedback a lot about our coffee. So if you've got a roaster that's supporting you, perhaps with a hot air roaster or a drum roaster, and you're buying different beans, you need to know how to deal with them better. So these recipes are based around our hot air roaster that we use from IMF. You've got a little bit here about how to adjust your grind to make sure that you're not gonna break your grinder. So that's a really good page to, to get you started when you're setting up. Then we start to talk about distributing and tamping. Now, a lot of people underestimate how important this is. You go and spend a lot of money on a beautiful Italian style coffee machine and then you don't have a grinder or you're just putting coffee in a basket and, and not taking any care at all, well, these are some of the tools and the concepts that you should use. We then talk about how to actually change your grind because a lot of people don't understand the differences in between getting a faster flow or a slower flow and whether that grind is coarser or finer and how you can manage that. So we've got our little guide here, which then leads on to the recipes. Now these recipes, We've been trying and testing these for many years now and we thought, hey, let's release them. We've, we've never really given you all the information, but we're talking about the different types of baskets across the top here. Our nine gram single basket, which you can see does have a 58 mil size at the top and tapers down to about that 23, 24 mil. That big shelf is a bit tricky to deal with. So we recommend getting nine grams of fine ground coffee into that one. For a ristretto, you're gonna get nine grams. For a normal, you're gonna get 18 grams. And the time that's gonna take is 21 to 23 seconds. So that's the best recipe for that handle with a nice blend. The next one, I'm gonna come back to in a second. I'm just gonna quickly skip ahead and go to our 21 gram standard basket we use commercially. Um, 22 and a half grams fits in here. It's 45 grams for a normal or the 22.5 grams for the ristretto. Um, if you're looking at the normal time, it's 32 to 34 seconds. Now that's what we can do commercially. If you can't get that um, with a much finer grind on your grinder, 
just aim for 30 seconds and you're gonna get a great coffee out of that. That really plays down to the quality of your grinder and whether it can handle that finer grind. If you grind a blocks, well, don't try and push for that 34 seconds. But if you can get it, it will be beautiful. So let's have a look now at this beast here. What I've done is I wanted to leave these out so we can, we can see what's happening. But in our standard Lamazoku um, large handle over here, I actually have that basket, okay? It's nice and hot and dry and ready to go. So I want to um, just take you through making a coffee on here. And this booklet will um, allow you to actually fill in with a bit of testing what basket you're using, your dose, your yield, and your range of time so you have that specific recipe for your favorite beans. So we'll go through that right now on this 18 gram basket. Now, as I've said, it does have 58 mil at the top and that little shelf there to be able to deal with it. And 19.5 grams is the ideal amount for this um, basket, so we're not changing our grind at the moment. This is the same grind that we had for our 22 and a half gram normal recipe. <laughs> Just gone over by a smidge, so let me grab a spoon. There we go. 19.5 grams of fine ground coffee. We're going to use our dosing pot. If you haven't seen these, well, we've been using them for quite some time through our channel. Again, it allows us to distribute that coffee quite well. I'm just going to give it a general little tap to get it nice and level. Now you can see some clumps there, some boulders and a lot of issues. It's not as flat and level. I'm not gonna use a WDT for this example. Um, I'm just gonna quickly give it a little NCD to give it a little bit of distributing. And we can use our auto tamper as well to finish that tamp. These auto tampers set at 14 kilos with one tamp and that gives us that beautiful nice finish there. You do see a little bit of the grind around the outside because auto tamps aren't exacting to the basket and also these curved baskets aren't always ideal when using auto tampers because as that basket shape tapers down if you don't have the right dose in there it can actually bind and wreck your tamper so be careful if you do use these curved baskets in automatic tampers so let's make a uh, coffee here we're going to pop into our latte glass so we can see what's going on tear off this here we go we'll lock that in and with the magic of real life uh, YouTube, we'll aim for our double ristretto. So we're going to um, start our extraction now. These buttons are set for our, um, our larger handle 22 and a half gram recipe. So it's 19 and a half grams. We're gonna double that. See if I can get that on the perfect pump. Oh, look at that, just under. Just under the recipe. All right, we were aiming for 39 grams, so I was a little hasty on there. But if we have a look here, our timing is 25 seconds. Now, if we have a look at our recipe, on our recipe card, we're looking for 18 grams of coffee. Uh, sorry, 18 gram basket, 19 grams of coffee. Ristretto, 19 grams, our normal, one to two ratio, we're looking for 38 grams. And I've got 37.2, so super close, in 26 to 28 seconds. So all I'd had to do was stop it a little bit longer and we would have got into that exact time frame that we're after. Now for any keen eyes out there, if you had have seen the very start of that shot, it actually went out and then came into that mouse tail, which means we can go a finer grind on this recipe and we can get more um, TDS or, or dissolve more of that um, solids inside the coffee to get a richer, sweeter flavour. Now if we go and do that, we still keep the same recipe of that 19.5 grams in that basket and that's going to take us right out to that 28 seconds. So it's really up to you. If you've got a grinder that's not going to handle that fine grind, do exactly what I've done here, add that extra gram on there and you're going to be spot on. We have a look at our Extraction there, there's no paleness, there's no blonding, we haven't got into that over extracted area, and that's going to give you a super tasty coffee. 
There you go. A little bit of water was on the top there, but you can see it's expanded beautifully right up to that basket line. We were well under that line beforehand. It's going to be soft to touch, just a little bit spongy on the top, but firm as you get in. So there you go. That to me is almost a spot on recipe for that standard Italian double handle. Now, if you've got any questions about how to uh, adjust this recipe, or if you want to get your hands on one of those, look, buy it online, we'll ship it to you, or do the digital one anywhere around the world. Um, these come free with any coffee machine that we do buy, and we hope that this really helps you get a much better coffee. It's apply, you can apply this concept to any coffee around the world. You just need to really make sure that you're tasting that coffee and trying to work out, does a longer shot suit the roast that you've got, or do you need to shorten it up a little bit? So acidity, sweetness, body, and balance are the things that you would consider to make some of those decisions. If you're trying to get a little bit more sweetness, you might go a little bit finer, and you'll see that rich, darker colors um, starting to come out at the beginning of the shot. But if that happens, and on the other end, you're still trying to get long, and the color's going pale and bitter, you will have to reduce that recipe down from a one to two, and maybe to a one to 1.8. So you can't get it on both sides. You can't get long time and real thick syrupy at the start. So anyway, it's a great guide for you to work through. I hope that's uh, gonna help you. There's extra items in there about how to froth properly with any jug and adjust for your alternative milks, how to pour the beautiful latte, latte art heart that I know everyone loves to try and achieve. This is the basis for all other patterns. So once you nail this kind of pattern, you can increase that into rosettas or swans or whatever you want because the basic techniques are in here as well. We've got the full coffee menu. Now, a lot of people um, ask us, what is in a, uh, you know, what kind of coffee is um, a cappuccino? What size cup? How much espresso? How much milk? Or how much foam is in there? So this guide helps you to look exactly what kind of coffee it is. So when you get your swanky barista mate coming over, you can make him a piccolo or a macchiato, whatever it is, this guide is gonna help you to nail that coffee for him. And I'm sure they'll be impressed and then how to actually look after your machine. If you haven't got a clean machine, it won't give you a great tasting coffee. So we've got some guides here on how to actually do a proper chemical back flush, but also something like a weekly, daily coffee machine clean and how to maintain your grinder as well with a little checklist here for you to follow. Again, all of these areas that we've covered in this book have individual videos as well, but we know that this is gonna help you have something physical to work with. We know you're not all um, you know, excited about watching YouTube and you might forget some of the stuff that we have. This manual's got it for you. I think it's a great value. It is on our store. Again, any questions, please reach out. Love to answer them for you. I hope this helps you uh, in your coffee journey. And thanks very much for watching, everyone. Really do appreciate your support. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.